Oh, hey, what's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? So today I'm gonna to be doing a full-on gear review. That's everything I carry on any given ride from head to toe. I've already done a previous video on my Osprey Talon 6 lumbar waist pack, and I kind of went over everything I carried inside of that on any given ride. So I'll put a little link up here and you guys can go check that out. There'll also be a link at the end of the video as well, because you should probably watch the whole video. So I'm just gonna go a little bit more in depth on everything I carry. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Bam. So the first thing I'm gonna go over today is gonna be what I carry on my feet. And uh, these guys are the, this is the right foot, by the way. I do have the other, so I got them both. So this is the Pearl Izumi. This is the Alp Flow shoe, mountain bike shoe. Um, pretty basic. This is, uh, I ride flats, so that's just a nice, thick, kind of dirty sole, as you can see there. Um, reinforced, very comfortable. The toe box is reinforced. Pretty darn comfortable, breathable. Um, I really don't have any complaints about these shoes. Um, I've had these shoes actually for about a year now. Um, very durable. Um, one interesting thing about these guys is um, when I ordered them, uh, I think I got them from REI, it was in the size of a 44. Uh, or that's the size that I needed. So just keep that in mind, it's a European size. Uh, I wear a European 44 and that means it's a size 10. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, the Pearl Iazumi Alp Flows. Excellent shoes. Like I mentioned, I ride clipless. So they're great. A lot of good traction. Um, very durable, very comfortable. They kick ass. Next thing is the gloves. These are my Dekine Cross X mountain bike gloves. If you've watched any of my videos, and I sure hope you have, you've probably noticed them. So these are really comfortable, really durable, and I've had these bad boys for probably about eight months. And like a lot of gloves, one area that could become a problem area is right between the index finger and the thumb where you will get a little blowout. Kind of show you guys here, right there. So yeah, I do need some new gloves, but these things are like molded to my hands. Um, very comfortable and having these guys for eight months and riding three to five times a week in that time period, I am really happy with them. And that's the only area that is, uh, and that's, you're gonna blow out any glove in that area anyways. Um, I've had quite a few crashes and they've held up. You know, there's some padding right on the top of the hand. There's a little bit of padding on the fingers. Um, you know, you have a nice little cloth area, which is good for like wiping snot away, um, which happens to some of us. So to the best of us, um, or wipe and sweat off your head, whatever. So, and then this latch right here rarely comes off. It does sometimes come off a little bit, but other than that, um, very durable, very comfortable. They kick ass. The Dekine Cross X mountain bike gloves. And all of this stuff I'm gonna put um, in my description. So I'll put even more details. I'll probably throw some pictures up and show you guys all the price points because I don't remember all the prices of all of these. So bear with me. Next is the helmet. Arguably the most important piece of equipment that you will use other than actually having a mountain bike. 
this guy right here. It's the Troy Lee Designs A1 MIPS helmet. It's got the brim on there, which is adjustable. You have these little bolts on here. There's three of them. And I don't know if you can see that. There's one right down in there. And they are basically just on a little slot and those will go up and down, um, which is nice. And obviously this is the MIPS design. So you have a little dial back in there to loosen or tighten. And then that whole MIPS design is just designed for like side load forces and it's supposed to rotate and do a bunch of good things if you unfortunately bonk your head, which hopefully you don't do. I haven't landed on my head too many times, um, but these are absolutely critical got some stickers back in there because i'm a cool guy so yeah this is the troy lee design a1 mips helmet kind of got it in this uh kind of off green and black bought it at an rei runs you about 100 bucks although I, I think this one might be discontinued i was just looking today so if you go to rei right now i think they're actually on sale you can see the inside right there. Um, not that you guys probably want to see this, but you will get some, you'll get some sweat stains in there. So yeah, the Troy Lee Designs A1, the MIPS helmet. It's an unbelievable helmet. It's very comfortable. It's sturdy. Um, I don't have too much sweat wicking down, uh, getting in my face, which is great. Um, you know, the strap and everything on here uh, stays tight and secure, and I haven't had any issues with that. It's been a great helmet. Obviously, um, I haven't really hit my head, uh, which is good, but if it does, I feel very confident that this will keep me safe which is, you know, important. All right, let's talk about the shorts I wear. Um, I'm a really big fan of Zoic. Uh, they're down in Southern California, I believe. Um, I'll put a little description of where they're from because I can't remember what town, but they make incredible products, especially their shorts. They really kick ass. Um, I'm actually wearing some right now the uh, ethers and these guys right here are the ether nines can't really see the nine but which is a nine inch inseam these guys right here got me dancing uh, are the 12s I have two 12s and one nine these are my these are my short shorts um, but they're they're incredible really durable there's plenty of pockets. We'll go over the little pockets right here. So this is on the right side of the short. Um, unfortunately, I can't fit my, I have the iPhone 11 uh, Pro and I can't even fit it in there. So if you have a smaller phone, uh, that might work out, but I carry my phone in my hip pack, so that doesn't really mean anything. I don't like having heavy stuff in my pockets anyways, but it's a great pocket. I mean, uh, the zippers work. They're nice and sealed, weatherproof. Um, I usually just keep some snacks in there, other random things. Uh, so you have one pocket on the right side and then behind that you have another pocket. Zipping success. And then on the left side here, you have another pocket. So just in the front, um, seals really nice. There's the logo right there. Zoic, shout out. Um, and so yeah, in the front, you guys get, you get three pockets, little zipper pockets, which are great. And then you have your normal, you know, hand pockets that would be in the front. And then in the back, on the back right hand side. Um, I actually usually keep my wallet in there. And I got a fat wallet. 
and uh, that fits in there beautifully. So that's really nice. Uh, keep in mind that it actually only has one rear pocket. So that's pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, and then you have these guys right here, which are really durable. And that's gonna be your cinch, your belt, essentially. And you can get that, you know, tight or as loose as you want. Um, so those work really well. These things are very snug very comfortable, very durable. I've had these in all sorts of conditions. Um, they're great. Yeah, the Zoic ethers, ethers, or ether, probably ether. Unbelievable shorts. I don't think I'll ever wear another short. They do come with padded liners, but if you stay tuned, I'm gonna show you which liner I use on my rides. The Zoic shorts, guys, they kick ass. Bam! All right, next up is my padded liner. These are the Fox Titan race shorts, and these things kick major ass. I do not go on a ride without these guys. The material used is really comfortable, really lightweight, um, it's also like that kind of moisture wicking material used, um, which is great. Uh, as you can see, it's got a nice, very lightweight, I mean, you can see the, the thickness of that hip pad, very thin, but still does the job. The whole purpose of these is kind of like lightweight, you know, you're not uh, compromising any extra weight by wearing these. So nice, thin, but durable and tough pad that keep you protected. You got a little tailbone pad there, gotta have that. And obviously you got one on the other side. And then like any other liner, you're gonna have the pad going down the center. Really great. Um, yeah, so I've had these guys for about seven, eight months. Extremely durable, very comfortable. They fit very well. Um, there's no shifting, nothing like that. These guys will run you about 60 bucks, so not very expensive. There's a lot of liners out there that are gonna run you, you know, well over a hundred bucks. So these guys, these guys won't. The Fox Titan race shorts. These things are great, guys. And like I mentioned, I don't go on a ride without these suckers. They kick ass. What's up guys? How you doing? Thanks for sticking around and watching another gear review video. I know this is only my second one, still kind of figuring these out, you know? Um, that's basically everything I carry on any given ride. Um, two things I forgot to mention uh, that I didn't have with me today actually is my Dekine Slayer knee pads and elbow pads. But in the description, I'll, like I mentioned, I'll put everything that I use in further detail and that way you guys can check those out as well. Um, so yeah, those two other things, the Dekine Slayer knee pads and elbow pads. Um, I don't wear those all the time. I usually only put those on on like, you know, if I'm on a crazy technical trail that I've never done before, I'll usually wear those, but I don't wear those all the time. But um, I definitely advise People, especially if you're more of a beginner, totally wear those. You're just protecting yourself. So thanks again, guys, for sticking around and watching the whole video. If you guys like what I'm doing, you're into what I'm talking about, you like my mountain bike videos, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I always respond to comments and I love chatting with you guys. This is a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it too. So thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.